And now you might wonder, what causes these hives? And unfortunately, in half of the cases, the cause is unknown. Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to treat hives. This video is part of a video series on your skin where we'll cover all kinds of skin related topics and drugs and for those of you interested, check out the playlist in the description. Now, if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate you as well as myself. And if you're interested, consider subscribing and pay attention. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer, it's meant purely informative, this is not medical advice and if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor and let's get started. So in this video we will be covering how to treat hives, but before we do so I thought it would be important to explain to you what hives exactly are. Now hives or urticaria as they're also called are a kind of rash. They leave red raised itchy bumps which may also burn and sting. Now these hives may appear anywhere on your skin and affect a small pinpoint area upwards to a big part of your skin. Now these hives are caused by an autoimmune reaction, meaning they are caused by a complex cascade of your own immune system, releasing inflammatory mediators and histamine, which results in the leakage of fluid from tiny blood vessels in your skin, causing edema and thereby these hives. And therefore these hives persist up until this fluid is absorbed into the cells surrounding the hives. In 95% of all cases this takes less than 6 weeks, usually lasting just a few days, leaving no lasting skin changes. And now you might wonder, what causes these hives? And unfortunately in half of the cases the cause is unknown. But many substances in your direct environment might cause these hives. An allergic reaction on medication or food, an infection, prolonged pressure on your skin, stress, cold temperatures, contact with water and exercising for more than 30 minutes. <laughs> So you never actually know what sets off your immune system, but here it's important to know that when you're having asthma or a hay fever, you have an increased risk on developing hives. Which brings us to the only question you wanted to have answered anyways, how to treat these hives. First of all, you could apply a cool wasp cloth on your hives to reduce the itching. Next up, take a lukewarm bath or shower, do not use hot water, don't soak for more than 10 minutes and do not use scented lotions as this can worsen your symptoms. After the shower or bath, pat yourself dry gently, do not scrub or rub your skin because this will worsen your symptoms and apply moisturizer if your skin is still damp to nourish and calm it. You could also put on 100% cotton clothing and avoid any wool. Next up, prevent scratching as this will worsen your rash. Trim your nails and instead of scratching, press your skin firmly which will also reduce the itching. Lastly, if all of these tips were insufficient, your doctor might prescribe you an oral antihistamine or an oral glucocorticoid. These can help to resolve the hives and the itching. And if you're looking for more information on any of these drugs, then check out my videos in the playlist. Now, I hope you know now how to treat your hives because that's the whole point of this video. And for those of you wanting to keep learning, want to become medically educated, please check out my playlist in the description and gather more knowledge. And I also want to thank my sponsors on Patreon who made this video possible. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an investor tier supporter. Which brings us to the end of this video. Please leave a like if you did enjoy it. This will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing. It's a win-win situation where you become more medically educated and I will reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching and as always, I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.